In this video lesson, we're going to be talking about luminosity masking. Creating a luminosity mask is when you create a mask based on the brightness or luminosity values in your image. This can be a useful tool, specifically if you want to target specific luminosity values within your image, such as your highlights, midtones, or shadows. You can use luminosity masks to help you remove shine from skin, enhance highlights, adjust shadows, creatively grade your image, and much more. Before getting started, it's important to note that luminosity masks are created from the information in your image, and therefore should be created after your retouching has been done. If you, for instance, have a visible mole and create a luminosity mask before removing that mole, the mole will then be in the mask, which could show up in your image depending on the strength of the adjustment that the mask is applied to. This is also why you may need to remake your luminosity masks if you have to make any large amendments or adjustments to your image should the client ask for any. To create your luminosity masks for your highlights, shadows, and midtones, you go to your channels and you then command or control click on all of your RGB channels. And I'm just going to do that there and you'll get your marching ants as your selection. And then you just go down and you make a new alpha channel and then now have applied your selection as a channel. You can also use individual channels to make luminosity masks from. I often find the blue channel is quite a good one in terms of contrast for skin. But if you have strong colors in your image, you just need to be careful. For instance, if someone's wearing a blue shirt, the luminosity values will be a little bit off if you use the one channel. I'll show you the difference now. So if I command click on that and create a new channel, that's the luminosity mask created from all the channels. And that's the luminosity mask created from the blue channel. I'm going to use the one from the blue channel in this. This will be my highlights luminosity mask because obviously the information that's white has the most information and the information that is black or dark has the least information. So as you can see, the most information in this specific mask is the highlights. So I'm just going to label this highlights. I'm then going to duplicate this by dragging it down to the new layer icon. And I'm going to command I to invert it. And this will be my shadows. Now, if I need to get my midtones, I do something called intersecting. I intersect the highlights channel from the shadows channel to make a new channel and that'll leave just the information that is neither a highlight nor a shadow, hence it being your midtones channel. And to do this, you command click on your highlights channel, then you press command, alt or option, shift, and click on your shadows channel. As you can see in the little box there, I've got an X. That means that it's going to intersect the, the two channels. So I'm gonna command click and I'm gonna get this warning sign saying no pixels are more than 50% selected. And that's absolutely fine. I'm going to press OK on that. And then I'm going to make a new channel. And those are my midtones. So I'm just going to name this mids. And I'm going to drag it in between the highlights and the shadows. So we've got our highlights, mids, and shadows all kind of neatly laid out there. And I can now make even more specific selections of my highlights or my shadows if I wanted to. And I do this by intersecting the highlight alpha channel from itself or the shadow alpha channel from itself. So let's just do that. So I'm going to command click and then I'm going to command option shift and click again on the same channel. And I'm going to then have a more specific highlight range there. And I'm going to enable this highlights too. And I'm going to do that again to get an even more specific selection. I'm going to command click, command option shift click. And again, we're going to go down. And those are only our brightest highlights are now visible in that mask or in that channel. So I'm going to name that highlights three. And then you do a very similar thing. And you can do that as many times as you'd like to. And I'm going to do a similar thing for the shadows. I'm going to command click, command option shift click and add a new channel there. And as you can see, that's tightened that selection. So I'm now going to label this shadows two. And then I'm going to command click, command option shift click. And again, make a new channel. And that is shadows three. 
And so now let's just scroll through our channels to show you the difference of the channels we've made. We've got brightest highlights, sort of our mid highlights, then just our highlights, then our mid tones, shadows, our sort of mid shadows, and our darkest shadows. There's another way to make your selection a little bit more specific from the channel you've created. And I'm going to select my highlight channel to do this. So I'm going to command click and I'm going to go to my adjustments and I'm going to apply it as a mask. And then I'm just going to go to image adjustments and I can choose brightness and contrast. I can choose levels. Or I can choose curves. If I chose curves, I could also press command or control M. And if I chose levels, I could press command or control L as a shortcut to bring it up. In this instance, I'm going to use levels. Just a, a quick reminder about levels. I'm sure you know this, but the left hand side is your black point. The right hand side is your white point and your midpoint is here in the middle. And if you pull your black point in, you will darken the mask. This is a way of applying an adjustment to your mask. So I'm now just darkening down those darker areas of the mask and leaving only the brighter areas available. I'm also going to do the same with the midtones. When you're grading your or adjusting your image with luminosity masks, you'll know the level that you need to take things to. For this demonstration though, I'm going to take it to about there and I'm going to press OK on that. I can now use this curve to, for instance, remove shine from the skin there just in a very quick way. I'd obviously need to do a little bit more adjusting to that curve if I was going to do that properly, but this is just to show you. And then I could also do the opposite and I could brighten those highlight areas that we've narrowed down there. Let's just delete this. If I wanted to use one of the alpha channels we've made, let's say I could select my shadows and I could apply it to a curve and I could lift my black point in the blues just to give it a, a very stylized effect. And I could get the midtones. And again, it's going to tell me that no pixels are more than 50% selected, which is fine. And I could darken the mids to add more contrast to the image, or I could brighten them to make it more airy fairy. I'm going to do that. There, I've done a very simple grade. I wouldn't necessarily do this in beauty. You generally don't grade an image too heavily, but this is just for demonstration purposes. As you can see, you can do pretty much anything you would like to with your specific channels. You can get as creative as you would like. You can also do whatever adjustments you target, whatever areas you would like to adjust. So luminosity masks can be great for grading and working with specific luminosity values in your image. Just be careful when you use them to make sure that all of your retouching is done and that you don't make any major adjustments below your luminosity masks without redoing them.